Greetings, fellow Tarnished. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Elden Ring. We're back in the Volcano Manor, where we were asked in the end of the last episode by Raya to investigate a particular serpentine creature that she'd seen slithering into one of these rooms. We're gonna go and do that. Oh. Okay. All right. Now that's something. Well, this is certainly interesting. So I figured... Can you trigger invisible walls just by walking up to them? Turns out I think you can. Makes sense that why there's this corpse here now. He found what was in there. We can now use our weapon. Oh, let's definitely not do that. I certainly want to be able to see. We have... Well... It's no serpent. That is a snail. But I don't think I need to tell you guys that. Be sure you can work that out on your... Alright. Uh, we have more snails. Way down. Oh, hi. Another one. Budding horns growing off of this guy. Interesting. That's peculiar. And then we have a way up. Ceiling snail here. Who I think knew that the jig was up, so... Ceiling snail dropped down to face us in honorable combat, but regrettably... We are not honorable combatants here. I see. Ceiling Snail was not alone in his endeavors to deceive us. Oh, they spit stuff. Alright. You and all of your wretched kin need to come down here right now. Okay, this is how it's gonna have to be. Like... They drop serpent arrows. Why would they drop serpent arrows? You guys aren't serpents. You're snails. Like, valiant effort. I'll give you I'll give it to you for that. I just don't want to go out to that door. Okay? I know I'm gonna get like ambushed by a snail. No, I won't. Okay. But this Really? Very suspicious door. Okay. Strange. Moving very slowly. In fact, I'm gonna even crouch through here. Oh my god, it keeps going. No, it doesn't. Matic Warriors Cookbook 21. Well, one of them was real. This! Finally, is going to lead back to this room. The one that we couldn't get into. Where somebody was trapped. And killed. Depraved perfumer, Carmon. We also got, in the last episode, as a reward, the Serpent's Sword. I totally didn't read, because I forgot about it. We're gonna do that now. Serpent Bone Blade, this is it. A sinister katana, modeled after a serpent bone. The densely packed row of spines that jut away from the cutting edge are coated in lethal poison. Skill, double slash. Skill of superior swordsman, perform a crossing slash attack from a low stance. Repeated inputs allow for two follow-up attacks. Very cool. Does this... Yeah, it causes poison buildup. That's really awesome. An actual poison weapon. There haven't been very many of those. And poison's actually useful. Like, Dark Souls 3, it sucked because everything in a dog was immune to it. But in this, it seems like most things are not immune to poison. Which is cool. Kind of interesting. Because um, I think you can... Like, I'm pretty sure I could uh, use a um, special Astro 4 on this to make it scale with faith, too. Something to think about. Um, the other thing that I got was... What now? Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook. It was 21. An alluring pot 
I don't know. Yeah, this is the rot. Yeah, I must have been in an alluring pot. Okay. I mean, I, we can kind of guess what that does. Let's, uh, oh, it doesn't even open. But for certain, that is that door. The one that couldn't open before. Alright, so this doesn't go anywhere. Um, very sinister. Really wondering why it's snails rather than snakes. And why the snails drop serpent arrows. Makes me think they're not snails. Or that the snails are some sort of a lesser serpent. They are rather snaky for snails. Most snails aren't that spindly. But you. Bloodhound Knight. Is this where the Bloodhound Knights come from? Are we finally getting an answer to what these guys are all about? Any snails in the area? Just you, huh? Just a Bloodhound Knight. Well, alright then. Let's go. Well, you were a disappointment to your kind. Any more? Sorry, just flailing about willy-nilly. Bloodhound Claws. And he was eating a fireproof dried liver. As you well should. Wouldn't want one of those to go to waste. Um, Bloodhound Claws. These guys give me Soul Calibur Voldo guy, uh, vibes, but like, you know, let's BDSM. Large curved claws used by Bloodhound Knights. The curve allows the weapon to slip through an enemy's guard. God damn it, we still don't have any lore on them. You're being very, uh... secretive about these guys and their allegiance and all that. Yeah, no, these are all walls with stuff on them. I don't think there's, uh... gonna be any hidden walls here, so we're just gonna go down this way and keep an eye out for, uh, snail ambushes. Ooh, a creepy looking place. Nice chandelier you got there. Nice, uh, red candles. Very, very thematic. Really nice. I like the red and the gold. And the black. You know, the colors of lava, right? As lava dries, or cools, it turns black. Ooh. What the fuck? Where are we? This is the outside... This is the exterior of the Volcano Manor. Awesome! Hey, it's a snack. It's an enemy snack. We can go up, we can go down. There's enemies on both sides. Alright. This is probably a legacy dungeon. You guys. You know what you remind me of? Okay, I guess we're going down. You guys remind me of the Dragon Soldiers from, uh... The, the dragon place. Dark Souls 3. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We're going this way first. Very cool. I'm reminded a bit of, um, like Yarnum, honestly. Like, it's got. Oh, Jesus. Why, why, where's the poison coming from? Something. At least throwing shit. Must be it. Yeah, it's you guys. You're. Disgusting. Okay, so we've got poisoned aristocrats. Got oh good. Yeah, makes sense. We know Rikard was the leader or he employed the Inquisitors, so it makes sense that these guys are here. And we again have to fight them without the benefit of Borsiak thing, so. Ow. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, we took a bit of damage from that. I find these very hard to fight without, like, trading. Okay. Corpses everywhere. Dead aristocrats. So, the inhabitants of the Volcano Manor must have purged their own aristocracy. Which, you know, overall, I approve. Not a bad idea. Okay, you little shit. I see you up there. Whoa! The damage! You see that? That is... Massive! Like, this is... This is ridiculous. The damage these guys put out. 
the hell are they? They must be throwing, like, the deadly poison pots, the shit pots at us. Only, uh, explanation there. I hear a, uh, a scarab, too. What do we got down there? What are you? Perfumer. No, it's one of the omen killers. What are they doing down here? Are they associated with, uh, with this place? It's the fucking scarab. Hear it. Right, don't you? Very odd. Could it be below? Could be below us. I just don't want to miss an ash of war, you know? It's a restoration scarab, eh, who cares, but... It's like stuck on things. They they can throw really far. Like look at that. They they can they can hit me from there. I can't hit them from here with a like a designated ranged attack. Okay, I can. And they can't really hit me. All right, never mind. Got my complaint. Well, hmm. well, that's a problem. We're down here now with him. And I don't feel very safe. I don't feel safe at all. Who do we kill first? Because that we can't. We we basically we can't uh, ignore killing this guy first. They do too much damage. For fuck's sake. Game. Are you serious? Oh my god. These guys do a shit ton of work. Okay, they're not that hard to kill. Look at the damage he did. Giant or Great Omen Killer Cleaver. Alright, we can get some info on these guys. Get some more info on them. Now, I'm assuming that's one that respawns. What are they fighting? I don't know. You guys, you guys do you. The blade of this huge, loathsome cleaver comprises of a row of amputated omen horns, weapon of slaughter wielded by omen killers. The hideous horns cause blood loss, adding vibrant colors to the ongoing mayhem. Delightful! <laughs> they, they, they clearly are detecting something. Oh. Excuse me? What did you just kill? There's something beneath this place, obviously. I'm a little disappointed that I fell down, because now I can't explore up there. I feel like I'm going to miss a lot, or that I otherwise have to, like, retreat. These ladies are amazing. They are truly wonderful. Yeah, so that that's going even farther down to the lava. I don't feel ready to go down there yet. I mean, I'm sure I'm ready to go down there, but I want to explore up here first. I want to see if I can get back up. I'm sure you can. There must be a way to get down here that doesn't involve falling, so we'll just backtrack. Yeah, you shithead. Not happening today. Back here. Nothing. Just darkness. Yeah, I, I really get kind of Yarnum vibes from this. Not not from the architecture, but just from the, the layout of the streets. The, the kind of narrow, more claustrophobic streets. And uh, all that business on the ceiling. And in the room, really? Can you give me a what? Can you give me a what? What is this? Erd Tree Seal? Is that a... Uh, I'm assuming talisman. I could be wrong. This no, it's not a talisman. The item? Gotta be or a shield even. Could be a shield. I never look at like the symbol that's right up next to it. I know you can. And that'll tell you what it is, but it's gone. I click through it like immediately by your reflex. <laughs> um. Hmm. Consumable? Or, or something like this. It's 
not going to be a crafting material. It's got to be a consumable. Like, what kind of consumable? Wait. Oh, it's a seal! Fuck's sake. I'm an idiot. Alright. Just looks so different from the other ones. But where are they? Range weapons and catalysts. Here we go. Yeah, like, the other ones are all, like, a circle with some squiggly bits, you know? And this is, like, not that. A formless sacred seal decorated with an Erdtree crest, once the focus of religion in the lands between. Even though the Elden Ring is shattered and the Erdtree has dulled from its former radiance, earnest faith continues to hold the answers. Okay, this is just a normal one. It's got a incantation scaling. I mean, it's unfair to look at it in comparison to this. This is 132. This has 60. But what's what's the advantage here? Why? How would this be better? This seems like it has no. There's no effect. There's no boosts, and its incantation scaling is is horrible. I don't know. Um. Is there nothing else in here? I don't think so, right? Unless there's like a hidden wall, but none of these look like hidden wall material. Don't you dare disappear! Okay, I still need you to. Also, the chained up. Um, doors remind me of Yarnum quite a bit. The piles of burning bodies, the crucified burning corpses, corpses hanging, you know, it's just, it's, it's got the Yarnum vibe. It's got that good old vibe of, uh, you know, a nice, just chill city with nothing going wrong in it at all. You know, what you like to see when you, uh, get into a, uh, densely populated urban area, you know? Like, you, you look around, you see the sights, and you're like, I feel safe and secure here. And that's really, like, what feels like Yarnum here. Okay, I'm at a loss for how to get back up, so... Hmm. Hmm. Unless it's this. Maybe this is the way back up. Itch. Nice try. But you planned your ambush a little early. They're so huge! They're fucking massive. Were they that big normally? I didn't notice. And they're a different race, we know that. They're the Nox. But I don't know who or what the Nox are. I don't know if I should be going down first or, like, over this way. Are you gonna come to life? Winged snakes. What is with FromSoft and weird-looking snakes? Like, come on. Wasn't Cough and Frump enough? Alright, what's in here? Oh, great. Uh, wait. You're... Active. You gonna stay inactive? I... No. We're just a liar. Oh god, those guys up there too. This is a tough one, actually. But he's dead. Alright, let's go up here. Find out what the hell's going on with this place. Oh, it's just a shit ton of you guys. Ah, fucking poison. Okay. One item here. Better be something cool. Okay, Crimson Amber Medallion plus one. Mm. Eh. Alright, I'm not going out that way yet. I want to go try and double back. 
catch the, uh, to do the whole, like, rooftop segment a little bit more, uh, thoroughly falling down. Fucking dogs. Uh, are we getting shit thrown at us? Yeah. We are. Let's not get shit thrown at us. God damn it, I hate how it, like, come on, mate. Very annoying. Okay, so, um, we have a couple of ways to go. We can go over here, and I'm going to drop down back onto this little uh, street area. Then we can drop onto this roof. Scale across these roofs. That we can find. Is this a place? Yeah, we were already here was the first roof, and we have another, uh, snack here. I'm gonna save my FP if I can. I gotta save it for ranged enemies. Whoa, what are you, what ability? Oh, that was her ability, that was our, uh, Nox Maiden doing that. Cool. Okay. One done with. Have another, uh, shit thrower over here. Okay. Oh my god, there's, there's one up there too? I didn't even see him. Oh, Jesus. There's, like, a lot more. Fuck. I, I may have screwed this up again. Can we make this? Yes! Good! Hopefully my summons will come back. I need to get up there somehow, and I think it should be fine. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. I will kill these guys, because they're here, you know? Oh, Jesus Christ! Damage. You guys inflict with their uh, toxins. Oh boy, not where I want to fight one of you. Let me tell you. Okay, drop something, please. Yes. Okay, drops volcano stone. Eh. All right, item here. Important. Would have missed this otherwise. Golden rune nine. Eh. It's something. It is something. And then we have uh, this place up here with these jerks, which we could have killed and made it a hell of a lot easier for us. I um, don't think we can get up there, but there's definitely at least one more item we were missing. And I'm trying to figure out where it was. It was lower down. For certain. I'm going to say it was over that way. I don't know. By the way, a very cool area. Really like the verticality of it. And I like the way you find it, too. Maybe we already got the item. Look, we probably already did. Alright, so then we still have two directions. We can either go out that way, or we can cross this bridge to get to the next part of it. This is leading... Oh my god, it's huge! This is, uh... Stormvale... This is bigger than Stormvale Castle. Oh yeah, this is... Like, I thought Stormvale Castle was reasonably sized. Rhea Lucaria, I felt, was a bit smaller. Redmain Keep... I felt was tiny. Like, as a legacy dungeon. I don't even know if it was a legacy, a proper legacy dungeon. It didn't feel like one. But this feels fucking huge. Like. So this is where we went. Got us up to here. So I'm gonna go up first. We'll go down later. Yeah, we've been in there. What we've not done is gone this way. Or have we? No, no, no. This just links back. Never mind. I'm a fool! What we got here? Another snake? Statues haven't turned to life yet, so that's something. Nothing's come down at us from above. I kinda want some of your- whoa. Freaky. Real freaky. Go open. And I'll open from this side. Okay, well goes that plan, but we can go up. There's a ladder there. I just saw it. Oh. Whoa! 
That's a melted one. Holy shit, I missed. Up anything? Still just volcano stones. Look at this. This one is completely, like, destroyed. <laughs> Took a couple of aristocrats with it, though. Okay, there's up there. And there is, of course, the other side. Which is something we can get to but cannot get back from. So, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go up here first. Always check out the places that you can come back from first. Before you drop down into something that you cannot return from. See, I'm fairly certain that we can drop down from up here to get behind the other place, so. Might as well explore the roof. What was that? Somewhere. Inside. Yeah, there's definitely something in here. Ah. Okay. First off. How do we get to that? Must be... Uh-oh. That ain't good. That was weird. Very bizarre. My recording. Is that all still going good? All going fine. That was just my controller freaking out. Hope it doesn't do that again. What are... Albinorix? What the fuck are you guys doing here? What are they doing? I don't want them to do what they're doing. Whatever it is. I'm also just gonna put them out of their misery, because I think they're being tortured. Albinorix have had a really short end of the stick. Oh god. What are you... Okay, let's just watch and see what he does. like that. This place is fucking creepy. Very sorry, guys. Ugh. Noises, man. Did open up the, um, door here. But I have a shortcut. I guess I die in here. I am kind of low on uh, flasks, so... Possibility. I've just taken some attrition damage, basically. And then, yeah, sure enough, we have a way out here to get to this, which we, uh... Now, grab this item. Albinoric Blood Clot, indeed. First sign of, uh... That this place is related to the Albinorics. Oh, wow, we can go all the way down there into the lava. Fucking cool. All of this looks like various kinds of lethal, so we're not going to experiment with gravity today. No, 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 I'm going to take the, uh, I guess, obvious path into a room. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, dear lord. Oh, my god. What is your deal? Oh my god. That's... That was horrifying. Well, you can walk, mate. Unlike other Albinorics, holy shit. That was wretched. Where? Oh my god. Place is fucked! There's another one. It's... No, it's dead. Is it dead? It's not dead. I'm killing it. Now it's dead. There's another one. I can't. Yeah. I need to not try and knock them down when they attack me, otherwise, I'm gonna die. I'm legit gonna die if I mess this up again. What was that? That was just. Okay, that was just cloth hanging from the ceiling. I thought it was fingers. I was like, no, not the hands. Anything but the hands. Okay. That's how you deal with them. They're really not that bad. I was just being foolish. 
another one here. Let's get the drop on him. But he doesn't get the drop on us. Dead people everywhere. Fucking weird... Like, modified Albinorix. Like, they're experimenting on them in here. They are an artificial life form, remember? They have multiple stages. And they cannot walk. Is, are you gonna be like one on a fucking trolley that's gonna come flying at me or something? No, you're just wailing there. Okay. Pull away, pull away, pull away. Okay. Basically, roll into them. Roll into them and you're fine. Is there any more? Anything from the ceiling? God. It's just a Whoa! You're a snake person. Okay. But what, what the hell are the snake people? They're clearly the ones doing the experimenting here. Like, they're the wardens of this place. They were standing, leering from the, uh, the tops of their... Tops of the towers, looking down on this whole area. We finally have a sight of grace. Holy shit. It's been a while. You know, you think there wouldn't be one. I am covered in blood. Holy crap. So, what's this called? Guest hall. This is the guest hall. A shitty guest hall. Yeah, we should we should heal. <laughs> okay. Um I end up not using my flask here in the current way that it I'm gonna have it the damage negation is just good though. Um Boosting poise might also be good. Temporarily boost holy attacks could also be good. I'm gonna do that, actually. Temporarily boost all damage negation. Or, fuck it. You know what? Poison damage negation. We will use, like, a, a, a combat flask. Because using it just for, like, another heal, I feel it's just boring. Like, seems like a noob's play. Oh, well, this actually opens. Interesting. I wasn't really expecting that. Okay. Right, we got more uh, shit throwers over there. And our way down into the lava area. But let's not go there just yet. We have a way out here. Okay, we got ourselves another, uh, snack. Might actually be the same snack. Most of great bolts. Okay. He weighs down along the sides here or something. I mean, technically... Technically, there's something down there. Like, I'm assuming the lava is death. Technically, I should be dying right here, right now. From how hot it is, but... You know, video game lava. As long as you're not standing on the burning red stuff, you're fine, right? Isn't that how it works in real life? Okay, we got magma snails. One shot kills. Okay, for posterity's sake. How much damage does this lava do? What the fuck? It's like... Less intimidating than the Scarlet Rot area. Or like in a standard poison swamp. Really push over lava, actually. Or maybe we as Tarnished are just super fire resistant. Could be. Well, I mean, since we can basically just swim through this shit. Although it does slow us down. There is that point to be made. That's probably a fatal drop. We got in here. It's creepy. The lantern on? No. Well, yes, but now it's off. Okay. Keep it on. I'm uh, looking for like a boss fight or something. And this seems like it could be a good boss arena. 
then again, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Which is weird. Because this is... Kind of out of the way. Bit of a secret area. I would expect there to be something here. There's not. Interesting. I walked through fire to find this place, goddammit! So yeah, we have, um... Alright, target this guy. Die. Um, let's de-lock. I'm gonna jump over here. Drop smoldering butterflies. Which, gotta wonder. Why do they drop smoldering butterflies? Umber smithing stone six. Put ourselves more of these, uh, lizard statues. Winged lizards. Oh, hi. Oh, you guys are doing that, huh? Will you stop? Oh my god, come on, get it. It's not that hard. Kill them all. Even the younglings. Slaughtered them. Not just the men. The women. Children. Like animals. Oh. Nothing is safe for me. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't look safe. So... That's the obvious way. But what about the unobvious way, huh? What, what about that? Bet you didn't consider that game. Hmm. Uh, gold eye, huh? Well. At least he gets a free cremation. Most people have to pay for that shit. Is there anything up here? Or is this just a, a sweet lookout point? Oh boy! Never do that again. Alright. I am going to go up the obvious way now, because I've done the unobvious. Like, the lava doesn't do much damage, but I suspect if we jump halfway into here, we'll still die. We'll just die from lava attrition damage. Ow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We are- Whoa, what is that weapon? I'm dead. Great dead. Okay. I'm gonna heal. What the fuck is that weapon? And how do I get it? I don't know if I would use it, I just want it. Ah, yes. The lovely, lovely guest hall. Truly really making me feel welcome. Wonder what Tanith has to say about this place. Should ask her. Be like, Tanith, are you aware of the snake torture dungeon? And the lava pits? I'm sure you're aware of the lava pits, but are you aware of the snake torture dungeon that's... Underneath your castle? More, more in your castle? Actually, comprising of most of your castle, I would even go so far as to say. Like... Okay, I'm just killing these guys because they can throw shit at me. The rest of them I, I don't give a shit about. Alright, where were my goddamn runes? I had to go this way, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Up here. Oh! Ah, so we can probably get up here, can we? Yeah, we can. We can. 
there a reason to do so? I think there is. There's hidden loot. Gotta be hidden loot. Uh, well, you say that, but I, I'm pretty sure I've been there. You didn't say anything. I said that. I'm talking to myself here, all right? All right, you fucking snake. You got me last time, but... Okay, his, like, retreating uh, move definitely throws my whole beat them repeatedly until they die strategy. Got a whack. Yeah, I see the lift. This just... Oh, we go up. I was expecting to, to go down. But up is fine. What are you? Fire monk. Probably a black flame monk. But then again, maybe not. Maybe a volcano monk? Also makes sense. Could also make sense, I should say. And uh, we have trees with... I thought it was people growing out of them. But... That is not what this is. Before I stop looking around this area, let's actually quickly give it a very good search. Maybe it is just for the living stone. Alright. Yeah, it's definitely a fire monk of some kind, though. I think it's a black flame monk. Yeah, it's absolutely a black flame monk. Okay, they don't stagger. Alright. We realized that last time we fought one of these, but they didn't stagger. Black Flame Monk Hood. Cool. Tell me more. Where is it? Here it is. Male hood of iron links covering a headband. Engraved with flame, attire of the Black Flame Monks. The Black Flame Monks, enthralled by their god-slaying Black Flame, became traitors, abandoning their posts as guardians. Seduction of a taboo is never easily spurned. It's a really cool hood. I like it. It doesn't go well with what we're wearing, but... Is there anything that we can cosplay here? Like, uh... Any sort of suit that would look good with a male hood? Scaled armor, maybe. That, like, that doesn't look shabby. I mean, it looks shabby, but it doesn't look bad. I don't think it looks great either, though. Neither does this. Nah. Um, regular scale armor? No. The male is of a different, uh, type. Yeah. This hood is cool, though. Does it work with the Nox set? Not really. If it was a brown hood? Then it could. That rhymes. Isn't it funny? The head's too thin. Yeah, he head's a little bit too thin. But at least the colors kind of work, sort of. I don't know. That's legit not bad with this, but if I'm going to wear a, a, a funky hat like that, may as well just go with the, the one that I've been wearing before, because I like it. All right, but anyways, cool. Cool that we found that. I like this set. And keep wearing it. It's nice and flowy. That's a boss fight. Is it actually? Might not be. Ooh. We have ourselves a lever. We're gonna do something. Alright. What did we do? We pulling something up out of the lava? Is that what's happening here? We pulling up a platform? Yep. Oh, there were cages underneath it? That's gotta suck. I mean, it'd be over pretty quickly, but... tell you, that would not be a quick way to go. 
This looks like a shitty bridge to cross. Um, man, there's just so many directions to go. Either we, like, we can go that way. There's still the other, the whole other direction there is a boss fight in here, by the way. Saw the, uh, the fog door. I'll tell you what. We're gonna end this on a boss fight. Or, was the fog door coming out of the other side, and this straight up is the boss fight? Excuse me. Uh. That's a snake. No, it's not. Well, it was. Discarded. Discarded skin. Never mind. Oh, it's a godskin noble. Oh, hi. Um, let's summon you two ladies. Okay, I don't feel like fighting one of you guys, fairly. You guys are kind of horrible. Ow. What are they doing here, exactly? They're god-slaying, right? Are they hunting Rikard? Because Rikard has a shard. They must be hunting Rikard. That must be why they're here. Okay. I'm gonna just kill her. But look at these... Look at the ladies go. They're taking, like, no damage. Like, you want a tanky... Summon? Like, I know everybody's all, you know, mimicked here forever. But, like... Nox Maiden puppets... Not to be fucked with. D don't sleep on these two. They're good. Okay. Still have to be careful. This guy is very dangerous, even with the fact that we're basically... Maidens are pup uh, tanking him. Jesus, I, I can't talk. You dead? I'm almost dead. Wow, he got me at the. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> A shame for display. I'm an embarrassment to my people. <laughs> oh no. I can't believe it. I have failed. What the hell are we? Oh, we're here. Great. All right, uh, well, I guess we're back to the shitty boss runs. Though it's not that bad, because it is just a quick run up past this, right? Like, just, just run here, run up there, fight the one guy, or, or ignore him. We'll fight him. I want to see if he drops something, you know? Like that weapon, for example. Shit, which one did we take? This one, right? I think so. They all take us up? This one at least takes us up. Alright. Yeah. Black Flame Monk again. Yeah, it is a bit of a shitty boss run, I will say. Kind of long. A little bit tedious. Okay, don't do that. Right. Same mistake. Well, I, I, I didn't make the mistake. I was just overcommitted. Which, I guess, is a mistake. So, ignore me! I die. Alright. Oh. Oh. Does close off. Makes sense. We shall summon the puppets again. Night Maiden and Swordstress. Okay. Grab our runes. Like, they don't do a huge amount of damage. But they, their damage isn't horrible either. Damn it. A little too early. I need to not have that there. Okay, good. We can use a flask here, and um, I think I want to use... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's, that's some damage. That's a lot of damage. That's dangerous. 
there. Enough some Scarlet Rot. Fuck, he went up into the air. That's pretty good. Pretty solid damage. Uses up all of your... <laughs> of your focus. Ah, uh, but it's fun. Die. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Godskin Stitcher and Noble Presence. Get an achievement for that. Cool. Godskin Stitcher, huh? That's a that's a rapier type sword, isn't it? Thrusting sword. Yep, looks really fucking cool. Elegant piercing sword with celadon colored blade. With a celadon colored blade wielded by godskin nobles. The nobles possess skill with the sword unmatched by any lowborn. Despite its size, successive attacks from this weapon are swifter than the eye can follow. Yeah, no fucking shit. I felt that first hand. Uh, impaling thrust. Yeah, that's the ability that it has. It's the ability most of these has. Really cool. Very cool. And and you can uh, use a, uh, a thing on it. Ash of War. And Noble Presence. Incantation. Rust out belly with gusto to unleash repelling shockwave. <laughs> Alright. Um... Once a sign of the god's wrath, this incantation became a trophy of the noble's god hunt. Yeah, so they're here for Riker. That's interesting. They must be here for Riker, I should say. I don't know for certain. Okay, there's a lever there. This... Oh, this reminds me a lot of the uh, Pontiff's Chapel, actually. Yeah, that is a discarded snake skin. Serpent's Amnion. Oh boy. An Amnion referring to the... Yeah, it's not really the yolk of an egg anymore. It's more like the stage in between where it's a yolk and in between where the thing is hatched, so it's like attached to the fetus. Creepy. Probably a key item, I would guess. Yeah. Amnion from a womb... Okay, or just straight up and like... Part of the amniotic sac. Or gestation. Creepy. That bore unintended offspring. Ah, even nicer. Amnion from the mother's womb, which cradled the poor unwanted offspring of repellent of a repelling repellent birthing ritual. It will never dry out, remaining damp indefinitely. Ah, delightful. So you can very clearly see the little snake fetus inside. Um Look very similar to Raya and the other snake people. Which were probably born from whatever the fuck left this behind. Ugh, creepy. Um, now, first things first. Activate the side of grace and spend these damn runes. Got a few of them, after all. Um, our faith to 40. Now we're talking. What's my recording time at, huh? You're at 52 minutes. Yeah, we're probably about done. But I'm going to go up here and just look. Have a look-see. I bet there's loot. No, oh, there's a way out. What else? Still very creeped out here. Rune 9. Found a lot of those. Okay, two ways out, actually. Oh, no. Well, yes. Just long way around to get to this one. Here's something skittering about. Damn. Ah, we can totally get to there. We can totally jump off of this. Yep, this is just a way to this outside part, which we can then use to drop down to uh, here, which will take us up to that whole place. What are those? Are those just gargoyles, or are those... 
Yeah, they look just like winged snake statues. All right, had to make sure they weren't like winged snakes. The non-statue variant. Which, you know, there's statues of them. Who's to say that they don't actually exist? Now, there's statues of all kinds of weird shit in real life, so the, just because there's statues of them doesn't mean they do exist. But it's a FromSoft game, so chances are they do. Alright, guys. This has been a pretty cool episode. Exploring this volcano manor, following the, the trail of the serpent. Pretty cool area, gotta say. There's still more to do. There's still more to do in the, like, original place. I, I feel like I went the wrong way first, or I feel like I took the long way first. Uh, the, the other way probably would have been a shorter route. Or a, uh, shorter stint. Or maybe it's like... The dungeon starts in one place, but actually, like, branches into two separate areas. That'd be very cool. Maybe they meet at the end. Maybe they don't. Maybe it's like a whole loop thing. I have no idea. But we'll continue down this way. Temple of Iglay. Hmm. Huh. Huh. That name I've never heard before. Leave it a like if you've enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Ash Arator out.